privileged to be on speaking terms with the smartest woman in the world. Her name is Doreen. It makes me nervous to tread among the minefields of making conversation with her. I notice that Doreen is wearing a necklace set with a lovely dark blue stone. That's a stunning ornament, I say. It's called Lapis Lazuli, she informs me. I dare not mention that I am quite familiar with Lapis. Instead, I reply, yes, I've seen pictures of it in my mineralogy book. I don't believe you've seen any such thing. Lapis is a rock, not a mineral. A rock is composed of several minerals. In the case of lapis lazuli, the minerals are lazurite, calcite, sodalite, and pyrite. I stand corrected. But perhaps I can redeem myself by offering a new factoid. I've heard some cultures use lapis lazuli as protection from the evil eye. Doreen bursts out in a horse laugh. Silly superstition. Don't tell me you believe that stuff. Uh-oh. Now Doreen has me pegged as a believer in the unprovable supernatural. And her opinions last forever. I make one more attempt at conversation. The ancients used to grind up lapis to make pigment for tempera paint. Yes, up until the 19th century, lapis was the only source for cobalt blue. I happen to know that a chemically identical synthetic variety of ultramarine, not cobalt blue, became available in the early part of the 19th century. But since I know what's good for me, I refrain from contradicting Doreen. <laughs>